back with more of our exclusive interview with John Kerry. This is his first trip back to Vietnam as Secretary of State, including to the city once known as Saigon, a name that will trigger a lot of memories for many Americans. This city was the heart of the American effort against the North Vietnamese, a war that in so many ways defined John Kerry. This morning, an extraordinary moment. Secretary of State John Kerry in the Mekong Delta, back on the same waters he patrolled 44 years ago as a Navy swift boat commander, a tour that earned then Lieutenant Kerry a silver and bronze star. What I really remember about it more than anything is the sense of everybody's commitment to doing their job, getting things done, working together effectively. It was exciting and scary and exhilarating and all kinds of emotions, sad. I mean, it was all kinds of things at the same time. But what really sticks with you is there was a camaraderie and a sense of accomplishment and purpose that was very special. You saw a lot of death, but you also took a man's life. Do you think about that? Yeah, sometimes, sure. I mean, you're, I think it, inevitably, but I don't get stuck there. I just, you know, I always refuse to get stuck there. Kind of a purposeful decision. Um, it, it happened, it's what it was. We were in a war and it ended. And my goal became the future. My goal became, how do we take that and make something better out of it? It's a goal that took him from anti-war activist. How do you ask a man to be the last man to die for a mistake? To a partnership in the Senate with fellow veteran John McCain, leading the charge to normalize relations with the government they'd fought against. And on this trip back, his first in more than 10 years. Ciao, Bob. Ciao. Reflections on a country the U.S. still criticizes for its human rights record, but where Kerry says much has changed. The young people have a different future where it's a marketplace, it's exciting. They have to do more on human rights. They have to do more on freedom of association, assembly, things like that. But it's gotten better in the last years, and I think it's on the right track. A new Vietnam, but also memories that linger. On his walk to church Saturday, Kerry passed the rooftop that was the site of the last helicopter evacuation before Saigon fell. You're Catholic. You went to mass this weekend here in Ho Chi Minh City. You talked about the Vietnam War really shaking your faith. How did you get that back? Uh, you know, I just thought about it a lot. I think I had a sort of epiphany, a moment where it just occurred to me that um, there still is a purpose uh, in God's work that defines itself sometimes differently from the ways one might superficially think. And, you know, you read the letters of St. Paul and you read uh, other parts of the scripture and it talks about suffering and it talks about adversity. And, uh, you know, I sort of began to put that in a better place not see it so much as, you know, a, a determinative God who, you know, makes every decision for everything that happens, but rather creates a framework within which we're responsible for making things happen. Remember President Kennedy's words, here on earth, God's work must truly be our own. I think that pretty well sums it up. And now we honor our fellow Americans who are currently sacrificing and serving. This week, the Pentagon released the name of one service member killed in Afghanistan. That's all for us today. Thanks for sharing part of your Sunday with us. Check out World News with David Muir tonight. So long from Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. Have a great day.